Alright, welcome back everybody to another NBA 2K18 My League Rebuilding Challenge. I actually haven't done one of these in a minute, and we are doing a 2019 worst to first rebuild. So, if you're a brand new subscriber, you might not know how this channel uh, challenge works on my channel. I've been doing this rebuilding challenge for a while now, and it's basically three seasons, right? I just simulated the first season because it doesn't matter. We look, we find the standings, we go and we find the worst team. And right now it's going to be the Charlotte Hornets. So I'm going to go take control of the Hornets. I get this whole off season, all of next year's regular season. And we try to win a title. We try to go from the worst record to the best record. And then once that season ends, say we win it all, say we don't make the playoffs, say we lose in the second round, I go to the standings and I find the new team with the worst record control that for that off season next year and so forth so forth so if you guys like these rebuilds you want to see me do another one before 2k19 comes out let's see if we can maybe hit i don't know i'm gonna say like 2000 likes 2000 likes because i know you guys do love these so i would probably try to get one out for you guys maybe beginning of september uh late august because we are pretty much like about a month and two weeks away from 2k19 which is pretty pretty insane so yeah let's get into this rebuild and we are taking control of one of the worst rosters in the NBA, the Charlotte Hornets. So, see you guys in the offseason. And we got to make this team go from the worst record to the best team next year. So, perks about these challenges is I get the first overall pick in most of them. So, we have the number one pick in this year's draft. I kind of forgot to put on everyone keeps their own picks. All right. But we get number one. The lottery actually cheated as well. So, we could go after RJ Barrett. But, since we only have one year, usually in these, I kind of go out. I'm like, eh. I should maybe trade that for a proven guy already. So let's try to get a good coach at Mike D'Antoni. We can roll with Jay Triano as our assistant. And let's get Jimmy Lynch. So we got some good training camps to work with. So we get all three of them. And we actually have some money left over for a possible assistant coach. Frank Vogel? Why not? We'll bring Frank Vogel in. I'm surprised he's assistant coach eligible and he doesn't want to be a head coach. I know Orlando just fired him this past season. I don't think he's going to get another coaching job. Should have stayed in Indiana. I don't know if he got fired or they just kind of agreed to part ways. But yeah, his career as a coach kind of went downhill once he left Indiana. So we'll look at, um, obviously this is not realistic at all. So we have a lot of contracts that I do want to move. So my, one, two, three, uh, they made a McDermott trade during the year. At least they didn't trade Miles Bridges. And Malik Monk should have a team option, so that's why he's not showing up yet. Because I simulated the season, so they, the team made trades already. So, Philly's willing, willing to give me two first-round picks. Um, Alright, I feel like that's probably our best deal. Getting two first-round picks from Philly is very nice. I kind of wanted to make a trade with Golden State, so I can maybe go after, like, KD. Because we might need all the help we can get. Might as well get KD now. I'm only this team for one year, so... The Warriors, yep, we'll give you Frank Kaminsky for two first round picks. Very nice. So maybe they won't offer KD a contract now. Because I'm all open to bringing KD to Charlotte. I feel like that's a, that's, a, I'm, I'm cool with that. Now, uh, Mozgov and McDermott are the last two that I do want to move. Actually, can I trade Mozgov to the Warriors for like a second? No, nah, they don't want him. I can get two seconds from Phoenix. I don't know if a team's dumb enough. Okay, yep, Boston's willing to give me a first round pick. I'll give you my second rounder for him. And the last person I do want to trade is Doug McDermott. And yeah, then we can move on. Will some team be dumb enough to give me a first round pick for him? Uh, it doesn't look like it. I mean, we need guys who can like win now. But we could use this first round pick from the Suns in a future trade. So, uh, we obviously have the number one pick. Now, I might move it. We'll see what I can get immediately for the number one pick. Like I said, I would like to have some money to go after a free agent. So I'm down to take anybody that doesn't have a big contract back. Like Miles Turner as a back, uh, as a starting center might not be the worst case. But, I mean, he's only an 81 overall when I can get clearly some studs here. All right, what about if we did the first pick and we did like Graham and Kulboka, Kulbaka, because they're not going to play for us next year. Huh, I don't know. I don't know if I want RJ Barrett or Williamson or Reddish. Maybe we will go and draft Williamson, but... Rudy Gobert would be pretty nice to have. And then, do you think I can get Rudy Gobert? Actually, you know what? We might do Rudy Gobert. Because if we can get Rudy... I can get this front court right here. Which is pretty good. And then, could I trade Blake? Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to trade our 2019 first as well. Um, Actually, I might want to use that in a later trade. So, can I maybe move um, the Sixers picks that we just got? Okay, cool. So, we just moved those Sixers picks. And now... I'm going to wait till free agency to see what I want to do, but we just picked up an 89 overall center. And then Blake, I'll probably be trading as well. Uh, given Unless I can get the number one overall pick for Blake. Imagine. Then I just definitely just schemed. Uh, we could get the third overall, or the ninth. 
Kevin Love. We can still get some good deals for Blake Griffin. I don't think the Pistons are willing are dumb enough. Maybe they are dumb enough. Hold on. Would the Pistons do number one um, for Blake Griffin? And we did acquire some Warriors picks and a Celtics pick. And I'll use that. And yeah, so we just got the basically... We just got Andre Drummond for, I would say, three first round picks. The two Sixers, actually. The Warriors and one other one so we do have the number one pick again i think i'm gonna take zion williamson and i'll see you guys over at soundings so we did take zion williamson with the number one overall pick rj barrett actually is an overall lower than him so he'll probably start for us to be honest with you at power forward now okay all these guys come back which is cool with me but we have some trades to make so yeah obviously some of these contracts i don't want like these three right here williams kid gilchrist and joseph so I'm open if anybody wants to offer me some cheap young players. That would be cool. A first-round pick from Chicago for Marvin Williams. Um, I would have to take on Cristiano Felicio. You know what? That's actually cool with me. I will do that, but then I will just obviously find a trade for Felicio. So I'm going to do some housekeeping here. Obviously, Kid Gilchrist, someday I want to trade $13 million. I want as much cap space as I can for free agency. So... I can get a first round pick from the Knicks, but I also have to take on Joakim Noah. That's fine with me. All right, so I'm going to kind of keep trading. Uh, I'm going to trade Joakim Noah, Felicio, and Joe Suff, and probably get hopefully as much picks as possible for them, and I'll see you guys when I'm done. Look at all these first round picks we have. We have ours for the next two years, um, three years. We have a Bulls first. We have a Warriors first. I just got Hawks, Knicks, Suns. We're looking pretty good. I do have to trade probably two sec a second in Noah to get a second back. Yeah. So we just traded him to Orlando. Now... I think we're good for now with anybody I want to trade. Uh, there's a fly in my room. Wonderful. So if I can bring in like Kevin Durant and Kemba back, I'm going to think this is a successful offseason. So if we look at the cap holds, Kemba is an 18 million. Jeremy Lamb, we're probably going to have to let walk. So Kevin Durant still has a deal from the Warriors. How? Somebody tell me how. If we look at the Warriors there, what are we paying? Danny Draymond, no, not Danny, uh, Frank Felicio, we gave that's 18 extra mil, and they still offered KD a deal. Ugh. Okay, at least we can actually get DeMarcus Cousins, which would be pretty cool. So we're going to offer Cousins a deal. Kemba did not get a deal yet. Um, I don't, I think I could get Butler and Cousins, but that means I wouldn't get Kemba back unless I cleared up 18 mil, which would mean I would have to move Andre Drummond. If I can get like a... Like a stud small forward for him. I would maybe think about doing this. Like, uh, Jabari Parker's kind of cool. But we would need to clear up. We would have to clear up like 20 mil. If we wanted to. Uh, and there's going to be no cheap small forward. I mean, like I saw Kyle Kuzma. You know, Miles Turner is actually not that bad of a piece. To maybe play a power forward. Hmm, do I really want to do this? Uh, no, nah, I'm gonna pass on this. We can always make, like, Cousins power forward, and then, yeah, we could just do that, actually. So, we're probably not gonna get Jimmy Butler, though, um, unfortunately. So, let's advance the day. Uh, we are gonna renounce the rights on these three. We are gonna sign DeMarcus Cousins. Uh, if we renounce the rights on Kemba, we could have actually gotten Jimmy Butler. Should I do this, though? Should I? I don't know. This is, I think this is kind of stupid if I do this, though. Because we need a point guard. Obviously, we already have, like, Miles Bridges, who's a two-guard. Uh, I know he could also play small forward, and we also have Malik Monk. Yeah, you know, we're, we're going to take Kemba over uh, over Jimmy Butler, so let's do that. How much does Kemba want? 27? Okay, I think we could do that. Yeah. All right, so we get Cousins and Kemba, which is actually very solid. And who can I spend the $5.37 million mid-level exception on? Zach Randolph. Sounds good to me. And he did not want all this money we just gave him. Really? So he can accept our offer? Okay. I guess, I guess not. Um, okay, he finally didn't take our offer. Took him long enough, so I guess we're going to get Robin Lopez. This fly is in front of my face. It's just pissing me off. Okay, so we have everybody for now. I'll see you guys at training camps. All right, so if we're going to roll with this big man lineup, we're going to make Cousins a power forward. So we're going to have a Kemba, I guess Monk, Williamson, Cousins, Drummond. I think that could be good enough. I think that could do something next year. I'm going to send untapped potential to Monk and Bridges, and hopefully they're just like beasts off the bench. Um, and yes. And then we're going to send untapped potential also to Williamson. Hopefully he just has a big rookie year because we only get him for one year. So we better be good. Now, uh, let's check out the uh, coaching. And so we got Kemba. Like, we have all these first on picks, though. That's the thing. Like, I don't want these to go to waste, so 
I mean, what could I get, like, realistically, for, like, Robin Lopez, Malik Monk, and, a f like, I I'll add Plethora first, but I don't know. You know what? Mm, I might try to get Donovan Mitchell. We do have so many picks that I don't care about, so Donovan Mitchell for Malik Monk. Um, and one, two... Look at these picks that are all two stars. Holy crap. Um, let's see this next pick. Um, Bulls pick. And we'll try this Hornets pick. Really? That couldn't get me Donovan Mitchell? Are you serious, yo? Alright, so say we did someone's max out. He has like six, seven mil. Um, not with the last name Mitchell. So... Who's like the best guys we can get? Mitchell, Jalen Brown would be cool, but I feel like he's so hard to trade for in this game. Doncic would also be cool, but what's the problem? Hornets would require 600k. Okay, take freaking this guy off my hands. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get Doncic. I feel like he's hard to trade for. So, say we did most of these first round picks. Uh, this Knicks one, and we did this Hawks one. Nope, we're not going to get Doncic. Even if I trade finder him. What about if I trade finder Jalen Brown? Okay. Uh, at least he's doable. I mean, I'm not obviously giving you Kemba Walker for Jalen Brown. I will do Malik Monk. What's the problem? We're going to acquire 400k. You could take Jonas Jerebko. Okay. And I will give you a lot of first round picks. Um, this next pick. This Hawks pick. Thank you. Okay. So we kind of overpaid. I probably could have did a pick less. But I'd rather have Jalen Brown over... over um, um, Malik Monk. So I think this is a fairly good team. I'm very excited to see what they could do this year. Uh, we're going to give Robin Lopez the last spot on the rotation. Yeah. Uh, he's going to get like... I don't know. Wait. Oh, man. Am I missing someone? Okay. I guess I didn't calculate how many people we should have had. All right. So Quinn Cook, you're going to get 10 minutes a game. Uh, 13 to Lopez. And we'll do 14. 19 to Bridges. Uh, 24 to Hernan Gomez. 34. 36. We'll do 33, uh, 33, 36. We'll do 34 to him. Uh, 34, 34, 20. Okay, so that's going to be for me now. We'll see if this Hornets team could be one of the best in the league. We're at number three, CornetNBA.com and Mark Spears. So I think we made them from worst to one of the best. So let's see if it comes true. All right, different year, same MVP. Curry's win Curry wins MVP. So this team goes from 20 wins to 47 wins. You know what? I'll take this. Yes, I wish I could have signed... Kevin Durant and DeMarcus Cousins. I would have did that over Kemba Walker. But, you know what? It is what it is. But we could definitely make a run in the playoffs. I think it's possible. Or we're going to get a first round exit. We'll have to wait and see. Kemba, All-NBA third team, was very good. So he played like an all-star. Uh, did we get any other Hornets besides? We're going to get, obviously, Williamson, our rookie first team. All right. So, uh, we are the five seed. I think we're a very good five seed looking at our roster. I moved Joe Brown a small part. Does he go up? No. Um, Kemba goes up to an 89 by shooting guard. All right, let's do that. Um, yeah, let's just screw this. Let's just do all this stuff. If you move players to their positions around, they all go up and over walls everywhere. Um, we're actually keeping that small forward. And Robin Lopez will go down to power forward. So we're, we just did that. I don't know. I've never experimented with that. So we're taking on the Cavs in round one. I think we should be able, be, be able to beat them. They, here are the stats. Cousins kind of disappointed. Oh, well, though. And team stats... Points per game, we were 5th allowed. We were ninth and 6th in point differential. All right, so game 1 of round 1, we pick up the victory by 1 point. I guess I'm just going to see my current round. We can't get too attached to this team because once it's done, it's done. And, oh no, we're taking on Toronto in round 1 and we beat them. Okay, I'll take that. I thought we were taking on Cleveland. And we got Chicago here, who we win in 7. Let's go! And we're in the Easter Conference Finals. Come on, bring us to the final. Oh my god. Pacers just blew a 3-0 lead, and we're in the finals with the Hornets, and we lost in five. But okay, we, at least we went from the worst team in the league to the best Eastern Garbage team and to make it to the finals. Wow, they blew a 3-0 lead. What were they doing in Indiana? Um, I do want to see the playoff stats, though. Kemba, 20 game. Cousins was eh. Williamson and Brown were pretty solid. But yeah, that's it. We brought this team. We could not win a finals, but at least we brought them to the NBA finals. We are taking control of the Sacramento Kings next all right, well, bye-bye, Hornets. Hello, Kings. Thank God we weren't taking control of the Pistons. We kind of fleeced them. And, yeah, so we're moving on. Hopefully they have their first-round pick, which they should. Actually, um, I feel like Boston has it. Please tell me Boston doesn't have it. 
Oh, for the love of God. All right, well, this is where things get interesting. Now, um, we don't even have the first overall pick, and we have to bring this team to be very good. So, I like Seiku Dumbia, having him left on the squad. Um, Stein, everybody else is probably going to be gone. I, like, I'm cool with starting Fox and Dumbia. I got to do other stuff. So, healed. Unless I can get the number one overall pick for Buddy healed, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, are they willing to, like, how much does the first round pick mean to them? I will give you our first round pick in 2021 for the first overall pick and Brooke Lopez. I mean, do we have to take Brooke Lopez? We don't. And this team has a lot of second round picks. Come on. Please give me the first overall pick. Um, all right. We're going to try to trade Buddy Heald for a top three pick, though, because there is some good prospects here. If we look, um, like Sam Cunliffe is pretty solid. Cole Anthony. I really want James Wiseman. Uh, or like Vernon Carey. So if I were to trade Buddy Heald and just straight up. I don't know if a team will give me a top three pick. But I think definitely on my own. If I did Buddy Heald in a bunch of seconds I could. So I mean Rudy Gobert is pretty nice. But I don't know if I want to invest my money into him right now. Adams is also nice. Alright let's see who has a top pick in the draft. So say we went to Heald. Okay do they, like the Suns have a top pick? No. Pistons are not gonna oh they do have the cap. I don't I don't want to fleece them again, but if we have to we will who is the second pick wait Boston has one and two. Are you kidding me? How did they their own pick end up being number two? All right, I think this should be a little bit easier to trade for though Um, and I'll give you Take Jeff Green. Okay, they can't afford him. I will give you Buddy healed and five second round picks and one of them will be a first in 2022 are you kidding me all right i'm sorry detroit but we're gonna have to fleece you again bro uh why did the celtics it all sucks that i forgot to put on everyone keeps their own picks and it definitely comes around and bites me in the in the butt all right so we're gonna swap 2020 picks it's fine with me now if we go to the the celtics could we maybe trade for the like trade finder the number one pick no what about the number two pick i would have to give up one second that's fine with me and yeah, we had to take the long way to get the number one pick, but we're going to do it. I'm going to trade number two. Um, actually, I'm going to get James Wiseman no matter what. I'll see you guys. Uh, Jason Kidd. Now nah, we're going to fire you. We're going to hire Dwayne Casey. And we are going to hire uh, Tanny Ainge. He will not be your assistant GM. We are going to hire Ryan Johnson. And then if we could also get like Gwen Howard, that would be cool. So if we can get all three of them, that would be nice. Uh, Dwayne Casey... I dope we get him. I'll see you guys at rookie signings. I'm probably 100% drafting James Wiseman. All right, so I did get James Wiseman. He actually fell to number two, so I didn't have to trade up to number one. 78 overall, he'll be starting for us. Uh, Doombia will also probably be starting for us, so we'll see what Fox. Fox has got an $8 million option. Oh my god, I forgot about Bagley. Okay, maybe we do have the front court figured out. Bagley and Wiseman, can that bring me a title though in the West? I don't know. Uh, I kind of forgot we had Bagley. Okay. Um, maybe I should have looked to trade that pick. We're not giving Papa John's a $12 million qualifying offer for 69 overall. But Scal? Yeah, we'll do Scal. So, moratorium here. Um, or free agency. Do we have any free agents of our own? We do have some. None that matter. And we should have some cap, right? Yeah. Uh, as much as I would love to get Draymond Green, I don't think he's gonna... Like, I'll overpay for Draymond. But I don't think he's gonna accept our deal over the Kings, unfortunately. Jalen Brown is restricted from the Hornets. We might have to overpay a little bit for Al Horford. Can use him in a trade for a shooting guard. So we're going to give him like 24 mil. Hopefully he accepts this over his Boston deal. He should, okay. Or his Hawks deal. They get traded or now Boston just doesn't want to sign him anymore. So say I gave him that much. Could I also get like Isaiah? No. Um, if I gave him 20, how much should I just give him a year? I don't know. Uh, but we're going to renounce the rights on pretty much everybody. Wow, they actually signed Jeremy Lamb. But yeah, everybody but Scal. We also have a $9 million mid level exception, so I'm going to use that if JJ Reddick didn't get signed, which he did. Crap. Um, Alright, Ricky Rubio. you Can you take $9 million a year? And a player option? Alright, welcome to Sacramento. And we will have a little bit of money left over, so give me Kent Bazemore. And we should be able to get him. Oh, never mind. Okay, the scowl cap hold kind of hurts. Uh, wow, wow! Jalen Brown is an unrestricted free agent. I could use him in a trade. He might be more valuable than Al Horford. Ah, uh, mm, yeah. Mm, I don't know. I'm so torn on what to do. Okay, say we gave him 22 mil a year, right, for four years, 
And then Al Horford, we just... Wait, did I not sign Al Horford or I did? Oh, I didn't sign him yet. But where is he on here? Did I not get him? Oh, no. Okay. Um... And or I would have to take Al Horford or Jalen Brown. Uh, I don't know who would have more trade uh, value in the trade finder. Wait, how do we not have any cap space? Who are we paying? Oh, oh, wait. I actually could get both of them. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm so stupid. This, I could get both of them. Um, I'm just going to have to do some salary dump trades. So, Willie Coley signed to Atlanta. Done deal. Ursan Ilyasova. You're also getting moved. And probably Jeff Green as well. And then, honestly, we could probably bring in... Brown and Horford. Both will probably get traded. Uh, I don't really want to do that trade. Can I get a pick from some team? Um, I can get a first round pick, but I gotta take Tony Snell back. Alright, to make things easier, we're just gonna... Yaka Perto, we would save 4 mil. Nah, we gotta save as much as possible. So we're gonna get Monty Morris. Now, could I sign Al Horford? Yeah, okay. And we can get Scala Basir back. Dope, okay. So, looking at this team, we 100% need a shooting guard. I don't want to have Jalen Brown, like I said. Uh, oh, also, I don't like to repeat players, so I'm not repeating any players. So, Jalen Brown is going to be traded off my team. Chris Middleton is somebody we could get in return, but good thing his salary is big now because he can match up with some other dudes out here. Preferably, I'd like a good shooting guard, and we could trade Jalen Brown for Clay Thompson, and they'd give me first. Hell yes, we're doing that trade. So, right now, we would have one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. But the thing is, I want to play Bagley and... Okay, Wiseman might just be a six-man. So, Giles will come off the bench. If I could trade Horford and, like, are a first, and then could I get a, like, a white side or somebody that's a little bit better? Because Horford in this game, unfortunately, just isn't good. Oh, my God. We can get Bradley Beal, Dream on Green. Hello. Some of these options are kind of huge. Hmm. Okay, now this comes down to the fact, do I want to start Doombia next year, or would I rather start James Wiseman and then play him at Wiseman at center? You know what, we're going to do that. So I'm going to get Al Horford, I'm going to get Bradley Beal for him, we're going to move Clay to small forward, and then Wiseman's going to start at center. So we are going to be doing this trade for Bradley, unless I get something insane. Can I get like Paul George? Come on, wait, Paul George could be out here. Clint Capella, like, I'm getting such good offers. I don't know how easy it would to get Paul George. But say we did this, and I'm willing to throw in a first-round pick in 2021. And if we did two seconds... Okay, we just got Paul George. Very nice. So, I think we're set with this team. I'll see you guys at training camps. Alright, guys. So, I actually like the, our hopes this year. Even in the Western Conference, we gotta go from 21 wins. If I could make every team go to the finals in this, that'd be a pretty successful video. But I'm actually very excited to see Fox, Paul George, Clay Thompson, Wiseman, Bagley. We did pretty well. We did very well. Uh, us getting... Horford and Jalen Brown helped so much, and them having such good trade value. We turned Al Horford, Jalen Brown, and a first-round pick, basically, which was the big value, for Paul George, Clay Thompson, and a future Warriors first-round pick. That's basically what we did, which is quite insane. So we're going to send Bagley, Wiseman, and Fox to untap potential, because they're going to be starting. Dumbia will be the sixth man next year. So we are ready for next year's season, and I'm excited to see what this team can do. So... Okay, they already have Wiseman at center. I love it. Uh, Dumbia, Rubio, Lebesier, uh, and then I guess Jeff Green will be the bench. Uh, nah, let's roll uh, Harry Giles over Jeff Green. So Harry Giles, you're going to get 12 minutes. We're going to do hmm, uh, 26 there, and then I think we're set. So let's go 32. Actually, 34 to Bagley. 34 to Paul George. And then we're going to do 34 to Clay Thompson. So that's going to be for me now. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Number two, according to NBA.com and Mark Spears. Hopefully we can get past the Warriors and even win it all next year. So we're in the month of March, middle of March, and we are the one seed. The Warriors are the four seed. The Pelicans are even better than them. And the Timberwolves and Suns aren't far behind in the Nuggets as well. But it looks like we might have control over the Western Conference playoffs. I think any day now we are going to clinch the one seed. We're on a three-game winning streak. No, we're not anymore. But hey, we just clinched the one seed. We are going to possibly get 60 wins. We have uh, three games left in the year. And... We need one more win, and we beat OKC. So we go 16-22, one seed in the Western Conference. Trey Young wins MVP in his third season. All right, Charles Bassey, Rookie of the Year from Western Kentucky. You know who else is a beast from Western Kentucky? Mitchell Robinson. Jabari Parker, Sixth Man of the Year. Joel Embiid, Defensive Player of the Year. And Nick Nurse, Coach of the Year, but not Dwayne Casey, the other Raptors coach. Okay, uh, let's see if any Kings make an All-NBA team. 
Oh, I thought that said LeBron was on the Nets. I was about to say, how? Uh, Marvin Bagley, of all people, gets only 13. I mean, not of all people, but I expected Clay and Paul George to make it over him. And nobody on the All-NBA teams or defensive teams, but we do get James Wiseman on our rookie team. And I'm excited to see what this team could do in the playoffs. We're taking on Memphis in round one, who's got Lowry now. I guess they did Lowry for Conley Swap. Gasol, Jackson Jr., who's a beast. RJ Barrett, Kyle Anderson. Uh, stats wise, Clay 20 and 5. George, there's Bagley, Fox, 8 assists a game. Doombia, Wiseman, Rubio, Labissier, and Giles. Team stats, we were number 2 in points per game, number 5 in allowed, and number 1 in point differential. So, let's, uh, I guess, just simulate the current rounds. We're just going to do this. Round 1 against Memphis, we're tied 2 2, and we go to a game 7, but we do beat them. Now, round 2 against Phoenix. Come on, Sacramento. Yes, let's go. We win at six, and Denver takes care of Golden State for us. So let's see how this goes. Come on, let's beat Denver. Oh, my God. Let's go. Another seven-game win, seven-game series win, and we're taking on Toronto. So we go back-to-back, -back, bringing teams. Can we not lose both? Can we win this one? Let's go, baby. We sweep them. That's what I'm talking about. So we are one for two so far. Let's hopefully we can end the video going two for three. But at least we went to the finals last year with that Hornets team. So Kings, it was a good run. We built, built you into a sick team. And we did even have the first overall pick last year. The Celtics had it. So, wow. We're taking control over the San Antonio Spurs next. That is a team I did not think I would take control over in this video. They're missing Kawhi a lot. Oh, and we're going to have to get through this Kings super team. That's going to be tough, but... What is this team looking like? They better have their first round pick. Uh, DeRozan, Aldridge, Dinwiddie, Murray, Lonnie Walker. How is this team that bad? I don't know, but I'm excited to see if we have the first overall pick to add a third star to Aldridge and DeRozan. I know they're probably not on their, they're kind of on the decline in their careers, but still, please tell me they have their first round pick. Okay, good. And we get pick three with it. All right. Could be used as a big trade piece. I think that's what I'm going to do. Pop, that I'll obviously bring back. Best coach in the league. Uh, we're cool with Tyler Richard. And uh, there's not many good assistant GMs left. So we're going to get Olivier Sanders. And yes, I think Pop is the best coach in the league over Brad Stevens. I think Brad Stevens is the second best. And then, like, after that, I don't know. It's like you have, like, Eric Spolstra. You have Rick Carlisle. You have Steve Kerr. Uh, Quinn Schneider. Dwayne Casey could have been up there. Like, I don't know about Dan Tony. Um, like, yeah, there's so many. There's a lot of good coaches in this league. Like, Steve Clifford is an underrated coach in my eyes. Um, Brent Brown is obviously a pretty solid coach. Um, just trying to think people off the top of my head. Um, who is the... Who's Denver's coach? Is it Mike Malone? I didn't make the playoffs last year. Um, who did the... Uh, yeah, I guess I guess those were probably the top tier coaches. But I'm definitely forgetting some coach. I don't know who that off the top of my head. Like, who, wait, there's some other really good coach that I'm just forgetting. Um, who's the Trailblazers coach? Oh my god, what's his name? It's not Nick McMillan. Who's the, I forgot their coach's name. It's not Quinn Schneider. Oh my god, who's their coach? Can I go, can I go see who their coach is? Because that's going to piss me off. Please tell me they have who it is. Oh my god, and you guys, I know you Portland fans are probably telling me in the TV who it is. Uh, oh my god, yes, Tyree Stotts, okay. I thought they were going to fire him and I was never going to know. But um, I'm just trying to see some other coaches. Jason Kidd, not one of the best. Uh, Rick Carl, Quinn, uh, Quinn Schneider said that before. Spolster said that before. Doc Rivers, eh. I, I would not say he's top five. Mike Bolnholzer, he's a very good coach in the league. So, all right, enough about the coaching. I'm probably boring you guys. So let's go to the NBA draft and see what we want to do. I'm sure this team has their fair share of bad contracts. Murray and Dinwiddie, I don't know if we can hold on to both of these guys. So what could I get for, like, Crab and Dinwiddie? And the third pick. Jabari Parker and Zach Levine. Kevin Love. Gordon Hayward, who's a 91 overall. I might do that. That's a pretty nice haul. We can get Harris and Murray. Um, I like Gordon Hayward and Marcus Morris. So we're going to do this trade. We're picking up Gordon Hayward to add to DeMar DeRozan and Aldridge. Uh, so we're not going to have a draft pick here. And after past two drafts of drafting Williamson and Wiseman, we're not going to draft anyone. So team player options. Obviously, Aldridge has a $0 team option. What is going on in San Antonio? I guess I'll take that. I mean, obviously, I'll take that. Does that mean we might have some cap space? Okay, let me just see if we have a chance at somebody before I make some cap space. We can pick up Andre Drummond or Paul George. Mm, or Steven Adams. I, like I said, I don't want to repeat, guys. But if we can get one of them, I think that would be huge. Even a trade. Uh, 
So Aldridge, we we gotta clear up thirty more mil in cap. Who do we have to? Oh well. Um. So say I traded what we to clear up how much money to get like Steven Adams? Is he demanding the least out of all of them? Ooh, Kyle Lowry would have been interesting. We would have to clear up twenty thirty mil. About thirty one mil if we wanted to get those guys. Now if I did thir this is thirteen mil plus what's thirteen plus eight? That's twenty one. I would have to get rid of Gordon Hayward. Now, unless I can get like a stud for twenty two mil. I mean Jared Jackson Jr. is like a nice piece. Uh, but we already have Aldridge. Trey Young! No, I gotta do this trade. Trey Young's just a reigning NL, uh, NL MVP. Uh, Eastern Conference MVP. I gotta do that. I'm sorry, Gordon Hayward. You're not gonna last long on this team because we're also clearing up 24 mil and we can find a trade partner for Jordan Bell. And that means we can go after somebody in free agency like a Paul George to add to this team. Or obviously we could trade him. So, Because I don't know why he's making $0, but obviously I'm gonna use that to my, my advantage. So Jordan Bell, let's actually throw you up on the trade finder. Ah, would I rather trade Murray over you? Nah, Murray could be a backup point guard. So Jordan Bell, what could I get? And let's see. What's the biggest salary dump? The Kings will give me two first round picks. I don't like to trade with former teams, but I mean, I'm not taking a player from them. So we're going to send Jordan Bell for about a first. I don't know if that was two first or a first and a second. Now, let's see if I can offer one of these guys a contract. Who's a free agent of our own? Pertle, who's restricted, and Joe Ingles, who wants like the minimum. Damn, we only have 19 mil in cap space. We'd have to clear up seven mil. Okay. Uh, Murray, you're kind of getting paid. Actually, what we could do here is trade Mario, Hutchinson, and Peters for like a couple picks maybe. And we'll see. We can get Al Horford in a first. Okay. I'll definitely take the first. And then what could I get Al Horford for? I'm just, I'm curious. Um, what team would, okay. Uh... Hmm. We could get Miles Bridges. Don't know if I want to do that. Um, okay. So what team actually has 25 million that I could just take first round picks from? I feel like a lot less teams are kind of not having cap space anymore. So there's very few that have positive cap. Like the Kings are one of them. Hornets are another. Uh, who did we, who did we just trade Al Horford from? Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have done that Al Horford trade. That was stupid. Um, who's got the most cap? Uh, is it really Charlotte? All right, I guess I'm just making trades with former teammates or teams. So, can I get a first round pick from the Hornets? Give me that Bulls pick. Uh, you can give me Paul Scruggs, who's making 7 mil. That was a kind of stupid signing. I don't have Miles Bridges. Um, all right, give me this Paul Scruggs guy. Give me Dickinson. And give me... Oh, I'm in a predicament. All right, I'm going to trade out Horford and then clear enough cap to go after free agent. I'll see you guys when I'm done. All right, I I'm pretty sure I just cleared up all the cap I can. I didn't trade them for basically... Uh, I got Miles Bridges and Scruggs and traded them to a team. So, Paul George, we would have to clear up a mill. So, we're not going to get Paul George, but we can get Andre Drummond. And I'm open to playing him in center, but we could flop him for like a Gobert or a white side. So, I really don't know who's going to play small forward for us. So, we're going to have to renounce the rights on... Uh, we're gonna have to give up Yaka Perto for him. Kind of sucks, but oh well. Um, we can't even get Joe Ingles. What? Really? He, I can't use my mid-level exception on Joe Ingles? Okay, I guess not. So we get Andre Drummond. We have a $5.75 million mid-level exception. There, Everybody wants so much money here in free agency. That's kind of why nobody, no team have cap space anymore. But we could use it on Damari Carroll, which I'm cool with. So... Um, after three days, we are done. Now, who's going to play small forward for us? So we have obviously one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, Drummond, you're going to go to center. Uh, we did have you in season number one, so I would like to trade you for a new center, preferably Gobert. Um, I would like Joyce Randall, Miles Turner, no thanks. DeAndre Jordan, I think about Kevin Herter. Mm, it's not bad. Rudy Gobert, though, and we're going to get a first round pick out of it, so I, I am with that. So... I guess DeRozan, I mean, I could play Murray at shooting guard, or I could play Walker. Hmm, who do I think? I'll probably play Walker, and then DeRozan at small forward, and then I would like a backup big man. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right, I'm going to trade Kevin Herter, or Herter, for a backup. Uh, we do have a lot of first round picks. For a backup center, and I'll see you guys at training camps. All right, so training camps, Lonnie Walker, if you're going to start, you better be good. Let's send, uh, 
Let's send conditioning to Aldridge. Hopefully he doesn't regress so much. And let's send perimeter shooting to Rosen so we can maybe knock down some threes. So this is not the best team we've had. This might be the worst team we've had. But hey, we won a title last year. Let's see how far we could take this Spurs team. I'm surprised to even see them. So Trey Young, I think, can carry us. We're actually going to play DeRozan here. And then we're going to start uh, Lonnie Walker. So Morris, you're going to get like 14 minutes a night. Spellman, you're going to get like 17. Murray, you can get like 24. Carroll, you can get like 12. Marjanovic, you're not going to play. So Gobert, I'd like to give 32 to. Same with Aldridge. Uh, DeRozan, 34. Um, Trey Young, 36. And then we can do 19 here. Or 20 here. 25 here. Uh, 32 there. 33. 15. And 13. So that's going to be for me now. I'll see you guys at the final season of the final team. We'll see what we can do. 2K Sports likes us, but... Yeah, there's the Kings, and then there's the Hornets, uh, two teams we've controlled. Still looking pretty good. So, yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the season, final season. So, Trey Young wins MVP. That's why I traded for him. Look at this guy in this game. He's so good. I don't know. I'm excited to see what he can do in, uh, oh, I thought we had Hernan Gomez for a second. Forgot. We had him, like, two years ago. And Miles Bridges, who I did trade to, uh, Cleveland just for a future first, was very good. But we needed that money to sign uh drummond who were able to get gobert out of it so trey young on be first team and any other spurs doesn't look like it all right gordon hayward is on the atlanta hawks uh he actually played very well for them this year and anybody else like that trade was so big for us because that also allowed us to get rudy gobert and any other spurs we do get gobert on all defensive second team and that might be it. Yeah, so we don't have any rookies. We actually were the two seed behind the Sacramento Kings, which is cool. And we are taking on the Pelicans in round one. Here are the stats for us. DeRozan was all right, not bad. Lonnie Walker wasn't terrible. Aldridge, you could tell he's regressing. And there's the bench. We look at the team stats, our points per game. Ooh, all right, 12th allowed points per game. We were fifth or sixth, and we were fourth in point differential. So, we'll see how this goes. Can we go to our third straight final with the team? Or are we going to get bounced in the first round, which I'm expecting as well? And there it is. So, this one was definitely our worst. We could not even go worse to first for this one. But, at least the last two, we were to go to the final. So, yeah. That is going to be for me. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the worst to first challenge. If you guys do enjoy these, I want to see one more 2019 one before 2K. 19 comes out. Let's see if we can maybe hit 2,000 likes. And let me know in the comments any other challenges you want to see. If it's an accepting every trade. If it's just like a worst staff challenge. Something like that. Let me know in the comments. So that's good for me. Thank you for watching. See you guys next video. Peace.